I can't remember the last time I saw a 30 anything. I know, all winter long, really. This is probably going to yeah. be the coldest uh, day of winter. Uh, officially, it ends uh, coming and next it, Monday. Yeah, almost spring. So it, it, it's a, kind of a weird thing going mm -hmm. on. We still have a, a good chance of getting more cold fronts, too, before uh, we get into the summer okay. months. So I want to let people know that these fronts can produce water spouts, mm -hmm. which can maintain their organization and sometimes move in as tornadoes. As we saw the case with Minnesota Key, look at this, 105 mile hour wind took this uh, pontoon boat, which is fairly heavy, turned it over and spun it around. And that's just an example of what they can do if you're driving. Now, uh, Ed McCrane, the emergency director of Sarasota County, has suggested that if you are in a mobile home, however, you should go into your car if you have no other place to seek shelter. When there is a tornado warning, bring pillows and blankets and strap yourself in, obviously. And uh, this uh, is not very good down there in Inglewood. Uh, as the winds roared through with 105 mile hour winds, just blew the windows out of this particular unit uh, right there near the beach and caused significant damage there to several other homes. It was only on the ground for a minute, just one minute. Well, beautiful weather today. Beautiful weather over the weekend for the most part, too. We had several different events. Uh, we had the Lucky Dog Parade, St. Patrick's Day, Lakewood Ranch. That was a success. Also, ALS, a life story with Kevin Swan raising money for ALS. So that was perfect. And then the Laurel Oak Cup. Turned out to be okay. We missed the rainfall yesterday and we're able to get the tournament and several hundred golfers showing up for that event, raising a huge amount of money for Sarasota Special Olympics. Not golfing now in Vermont, New Hampshire, New York, or Pennsylvania for that matter. It's uh, really turned nasty. You no, know, it's like a few, a, a week ago, they were in the 70s here and now they're dealing with a blizzard over the Northeast. That front is well down to our south now. It is stationary. We still have a very active subtropical jet stream though. That's what kind of fired these storms off over the Gulf. Chilly next two days, wind chills in the low 30s on Thursday morning and back to the 70s though we go by Friday. So we'll be back pretty nice on Friday. The weekend is looking outstanding. 61 right now, the dew point at 50 and the humidity at 67%. You can see the bay is a little bit agitated there. Winds are still strong out of the north northwest at 14 and they'll stay that way throughout much of the morning on Wednesday. For the high today, 68 degrees, our normal 76, and the record 90, the record low, 37 degrees. And we may see some records fall on Thursday morning. No rainfall to report today, and we had over an inch and a half in some areas yesterday. Temperatures now statewide, 56 in Tallahassee. 54 in Jacksonville is still mild in Miami at 77 degrees. Key West at 73. And temperatures right near the coast, low 60s in Cortez at 61. 61 in Sarasota, 68 in Arcadia. The Gulf water temperature at 71. That'll drop a few degrees over the upcoming days due to this cold snap. Punta Gorda at 68. Even tomorrow morning, we're going to see wind chills in the low 40s. Our actual low temperatures will be into the upper 40s, but it will feel much cooler with that northwest wind at around 15 to 20 miles an hour. So make sure you address the kids appropriately tomorrow in Manatee County. I know Sarasota County schools are off this week. 60 degrees now, the expected high tomorrow. So well below average in most areas. And looks as though that's going to stay that way because I can see from this uh, forecast, future cast, we have this direct north wind. You can see those winds just coming right off the Carolinas out of the north, north, north. It stays that way right through Thursday. Eventually, by Friday, we start to see a return to more of an easterly component, and that always has a tendency to warm us up a little bit, so we'll get back to some warm temperatures. Not warm in Buffalo, 19 there, 18 in Toronto, 31 in Omaha and Wichita, 43. Denver, pretty nice, though, 67 degrees there, and 66 in Dallas, 70 in Houston, and Atlanta starting to drop quickly down below freezing there, 29 degrees, and Jacksonville at 54. Well, the forecast for boaters, not the best. Uh, winds will stay out of the north, as I mentioned, in the morning, 20 knots, subsiding to 10 to 15 in the afternoon. The sea's still choppy, 3 to 5 foot seas out there, and looks like uh, that will tend to warm up a little bit and also not as windy on into Thursday. Water temperature, as I mentioned, 71. UV index will be high for area beaches at a 10. Now the tide's upcoming for Sarasota Bay. The next high tide, low tide will be at 923, high tide at 250, and another low tide at 917 tomorrow. And sunset and sunrise pretty much right where they're supposed to be this time of year as we transition into uh, spring. Cool tonight and uh, looks like low temperatures upper 40s, but it'll feel like low 40s. Tomorrow only a 62 degree high, well below the average. North winds 10 to 15 will make it feel colder. And the extended forecast, well there it is. Grab your jackets and the heat will be kicking on. Wind chills in the low 30s on Thursday morning. We warm back up to 72. Nice on Friday. That's a winter day. And then a nice end to winter with temperatures back into the mid-70s, both on Saturday and Sunday. Haley?